Global Group launched the Souffron on July 12th during a ceremony attended by the French President, Emmanuel Macron. Souffron is the first of six new generation Barracuda type nuclear powered attack submarines for the French Navy. The Souffron class is designed to replace the Ruby class in the French Navy Marine Nationale. Compared to its predecessor, the Barracuda class SSN will have a 70 day autonomy and will be able to carry 50% more weapons. The Souffron type SSN will be more mobile, more maneuverable, and stealthier. Its commissioning with the French Navy should take place in late 2020. Japan Marine United Corporation, JMU, launched the second Maya-class guided missile destroyer for the JMSDF on July 17th. The vessel is named Haguro. Haguro is expected to be commissioned with the JMSDF in 2021. The first ship of its class, JS Maya, started her sea trials one month ago. You can see here both ships side by side. The new destroyer class is 170 meters long and displaces 8,200 tons with a crew of 310 sailors. The Maya class is the first of JMSDF's Aegis destroyer ready from scratch for ballistic missile defense operations and is also the first of Japan's Aegis fleet to be equipped with the cooperative engagement capability from the start. The CEC allows the ship to receive targeting information from other assets, such as other Aegis destroyers or E2D AWACS aircraft. French shipyard Osea launched its largest vessel to date, the OPV-270, on July 17th at its shipyard on France's Atlantic coast. Entirely designed and built by Osea, the 84-meter-long offshore patrol vessel was selected by the Coast Guard of the Philippines. The U.S. Navy released a request for proposals to industry for the development of the medium unmanned surface vehicle on July 16th. The MUSV will be a peer-launched, self-deploying modular open architecture surface vehicle capable of autonomous navigation and mission execution. The development RFP contains options for additional USVs. A full and open competitive procurement will take place in fiscal year 2019. Accelerating unmanned surface vehicle and payload development and warfaring integration will provide an inflection point in delivering a more distributed force in support of the U.S. national defense strategy. The U.S. Navy plans to award a contract for a single MUSV prototype in the first quarter of fiscal year 2020. Italian Navy aircraft carrier Cavour entered a dry dock at the Maritime Military Arsenal in Taranto to start F-35B modification work. After 10 years of active service, this maintenance and adaptation work will allow the ship to adapt to the standards for the F-35B fighter jet which will replace the current fleet of AV-8B Harrier II aircraft. In the spring of 2020, the Cavour aircraft carrier will face a preparatory training period for the next departure for the United States in the summer of the same year, where it will conduct some tests with the F-35B aircraft on board. These activities will represent the first important steps for achieving initial operation capacity for the aircraft carrier with its renewed Italian Navy aviation capability. The Royal Malaysian Navy conducted live firings of a surface launch Exocet MM40 and two air launch C SCUA anti ship missiles in a move to test both its readiness and capabilities. 
This live firing exercise was a first for the RMN since 2014. It was held in the South China Sea. The Corvette KD Katsuri was chosen as the firing platform for the Exocet MM40 Block II missile, while the RMN's Super Lynx helicopter was chosen to fire two Sea Skua missiles. The firings were successfully conducted, displaying the high level of readiness of the RMN fleet and its ability to protect Malaysia's sovereignty in the South China Sea.